Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Darrell Owens here, alongside Russ Tullivero, and we are here live at FedEx Field for the first preseason game of the year for the Washington okay. Redskins at home as they take on the New York Football Jets. Last week they played the New England Patriots, came up a little short, but they had a few guys that shined in the process. Now we've been at training camp for the last uh, for the last two weeks bringing in coverage, showing you guys some videos and all that good stuff here at Legacy Maker Sports Network. Uh, but we wanted to give you a little insight in today's game. Russ, let me ask you this question. Uh, you know, the Jets come in here, three quarterbacks. Uh, what are your thoughts on Sam Donald? And do Sam, does Sam Donald have an opportunity to win this starting job, in your opinion? I don't know if he has an opportunity to win the starting job just yet, but I think tonight might be his best chance so far. Of course, it's only the second game right now. They've been through training camp. But tonight, so with him not starting, you expect him to play at least a quarter or two if he's the second or third string. So at least see him maybe, the chart said he was the third string, so maybe we should see him in the second half, which, you know, even though it's against third stringers, still should be able to show some sort of poise, some sort of uh, command of the offense with right. who he's with. A good quarterback can work with any first, second, or third string guy. So true. he should be able to work with anybody he's got on the field and uh, maybe show us some, something in the future. What we, got. We, we, we may get to see something special here from Sam Donald, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, you know, with that being said, is there a Jets player uh, besides Sam Donald that you're looking forward to seeing tonight? Me, personally, I said to look out for him in the draft. Mm -hmm. It's the 6'4", 315-pound defensive tackle, Nathan Shepard. Born in Canada, Fort Hayes State. It's in Kansas, if nobody Fort remembers. Fort Hayes State. <laughs> it's in Kansas. Not even going to ask you where it is. But I think he has a chance to start tonight, show what he can do with the first line, going against the Redskins offensive line, which is pretty good depending on which side he lands up. Um, left side, he might have to go against Trent, uh, Trent Williams. So we'll see what he has to do, you know, against the first, right, the first offensive line. I'm anxious to see, especially with the Jets playing the 3-4, he'll get a lot of chances to work against tackles and some guards, you know, seeing what he can do, kind of disruption he can cause in the middle. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And now when it comes to the Redskins, here's the thing. We were at Redskins training camp. We got an opportunity to see a lot of stuff. Alex Smith, this we're going to see Alex Smith for the first time, Russ, uh, uh, you know, in a Redskins uniform on the field. So we're, it's going to be a good opportunity to see what Alex can do. Now, one thing we've learned from training camp is that you have been able to see uh, the difference, the atmosphere. Everything just seems different when it comes to this because of, you know, the there's Kirk a, Cousins not being there. Yeah, there's a difference between, even with me not be, me not personally being there at training camp, mm -hmm. I've noticed a difference in even just the, the interviews of the offensive players. Just the offensive line, the wide receivers, the running backs, everyone seems to be in a, not saying Kirk Cousins couldn't have got them excited, it's just naturally elevated with Alex Smith over Kirk Cousins right now. Yeah, and that's the thing that I see. I, I think that we're going to see a different type of Redskins team this year. Now, will the Redskins go to the playoff? We're not going to sit here and say that right off the bat because it's, it's too early. way too early too for early. that. But do they have a good chance? Yes, they do. With Alex Smith oh, yeah. at the helm, last year led the league uh, in quarterback rating, this guy could be special. Now, going back well, well, I will say, yeah. you did ask him. You did ask him talk to him the other day in training camp. I did get a chance to talk to him. And so, you day. know, quarterback's best friend is a good tight end. That's true. And it's been a while since he hooked up with this tight end. But Vernon Davis showed he still has some. Well, he still got this some left. This is true. And it's a tight end he knows very well, and he's already getting comfortable. Well, yeah, comfortable I mean, with him. been able to see him in tram, you, training camp. You can tell that they've got a chemistry rocking and rolling. Yeah, it's like 2011, course. 2012, all the way again. Very important. And the last time those two were hooking up like that, they went to the NFC Championship game. They, they did some, I'm just saying. They made some noise. Yeah. <laughs> now, the two guys that want to watch out for tonight for the Washington Redskins, one guy that you got to watch out for is Mr. Byron Marshall. <laughs> like, I've been saying Maxwell all week. But Byron Marshall has shown to me that he's had a fantastic camp. He's the MVP on the offensive side of the ball, in my opinion, at Redskins training camp. And with Dice going down, he could be the guy that they bring in to make that four-headed monster that I talked about in the article earlier this year. He could be, because you, you're going to need depth on the running back. Right. It's a foregone conclusion. Everybody's going to have an injury at running back at some point. In the exactly. Season. Especially with their luck with Chris Thompson last year. They were looking at guys to be that guy. Right. And even though he's a second, or he was a third round pick, because they didn't second, have a second, second round pick. The second, so second. He was a second. Number fifty nine. Number fifty nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close to the third round. Yeah, yeah, close close to the third. yeah, yeah. But he was their second second round pick, so he was their third pick overall. Right. So you know they were looking for him, but going down with their torn ACL, I personally know how that feels. So I was best of luck to him. Yeah. And a speedy recovery, but they were looking to but to be him maybe. Chris, John, Chris Thompson's understudy almost. Right. So they were looking to maybe give him more duties this year than maybe Chris Thompson would have done. Chris Thompson would have done himself. So with him going down, Marshall has a big opportunity in these last couple of preseason games to show that you know maybe he can be not to be a homer, but like a Victor Cruz of sorts, and just right. come on and just show what he can do. What he can and do. Earn right. a spot with the preseason games. 
Now, this is going to be a huge deal for them. Now, he did score the first touchdown in last week's uh, preseason game against the New England Patriots. Uh, now, the one other player that I want everybody to watch out for before we roll out of here and give you our predictions is Mr. Quinn Dunbar. Dunbar has taken over that number two spot, that number two corner, especially as the Redskins uh, decided to part ways with Orlando Skandrick, even after signing him to uh, a two-year deal. Two deal. Just four months ago. Yeah, yeah. And then, so, I mean, with all that being said, Coach Gruden said in the presser earlier this week that the reason why he did that is because he wanted Skandrick to get a chance to sign with a team, which I believe he was in Kansas City yesterday uh, for a visit. So we'll see how things and good luck to him in the future. Best of luck. But Quinn Dunbar is going to be the guy to watch out for. He's had a fantastic camp, and there's a, he's the reason why the Redskins felt comfortable with letting Donald Skandrick go. Yeah, I mean, playing opposite side to Josh Norman, whether he's showing up every game or not, mm -hmm. he's a presence that you need to be aware of. Exactly. Whether he's talking, whether he's playing or not, he's always going to be talking. He's going, he's got the mental game down straight. Right. <laughs> and he's them. He's got a damn good on-field game as well to back that mental up. So playing alongside uh, Josh Norman is going to be very important because they're still. It seems like they're still looking to see get their safety spot, uh, safety spots pat down pat. So playing with uh, locking up that other cornerback spot with Josh Norman, it's going to be very important for the rest of his defense. Well, we know what Dunbar did last year when when Norman was down and when Hall was down. Dunbar came and stepped in and did his thing. So he can. Can he continue the, it though? Can he continue it? And those the are question. the things that we'll be looking for. Can Dunbar. he continue it with Josh Norman? That's real true. But I, by watching him in camp, I believe he can do it, Russ. I hope so. So here's the question. Who wins the night game? I know it's a preseason game, but who wins the night nice game? Uh, I said to you before we did this, I would. I feel more comfortable with the Jets quarterback line that they're going to have in the mm -hmm. second quarter, in the second half. So, and de Washington's defense, second and third defense, not so sure about. So I'd have to tip the scales to the Jets. If I had to do a score, I'd probably say I don't think the Washington's – I think Washington's <laughs> first offense might score a field goal right now. Right. I don't think Alex Smith is going to play that long. And with Chris Thompson's injury history, right. I don't think they want to keep him out on the yeah, field. I don't that think long they want to have my day long. So I don't yet. think their first team offense is going to have as much of an impact as you say. And I trust the Jets' second team defense more than the Redskins' second team defense. Well, I mean, so, we're, we're going to get to see it. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to go. As a score, I'd probably say. 21 to 7 or 21, 21 to 7 or 21 to 10. 21 to 10. Uh, that's, that's, Jets that's winning. Where I, yeah. Well, I'm going to go with the Washington Rams because I think it's going to be a little bit of a tight contest. You know, these preseason games are kind of weird. They're going to be close to the end. I'm going to say the score is going to be 17 to 16. 17-16 mm -hmm. Rams games. Can't wait to see it, man. Um, I will say, though, if I had to make a bold prediction, if he plays at least the whole second half, Sam Lerner will have at least two touchdown passes. I can see that happening. At least two. That's a bold prediction at right there. At least two. I can't wait to see Payne and all those guys tonight. First round so pick for the excited. Red I'm going to be, Payne. It's going to be great, y'all. Look, everybody, thank y'all once again tuning in Legacy Maker Sports Network. I'm Darrell Owens. As you can tell, it's hot out here. I'm sweating. It. I'm trying not to wipe the sweat out my eyes. But it's, it's blazing out here. It's about 93 degrees. Man, I chose we, to wear all we, black today. We big boys. You know, so, but look, once again, thank you all for tuning in to the pregame. We'll be coming to y'all all year with pregame for the Washington Redskins home games. Also, got some surprises. May or may not be covering another team. Maybe. Possibly, but we we'll have some surprises for we'll, you guys. We're waiting to find out on that, but for we'll sure. see. Once again, y'all, if you get a chance, follow Legacy Maker Sports Network on all our social media platforms. Uh, Facebook at Legacy Maker Sports. Uh, hit us up on Twitter at Legacy Maker SPN. And you can hit us up on Instagram at Legacy Maker Sports. And of course, on YouTube at Legacy Maker Sports Network. Once again, I'm Darrell Owens. This is Russ Teleferro. We'll see you guys later. Make sure you catch out our video tomorrow for the highlights of this game. Peace.